What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Fresh Tofu and today I am back at it again with some more Luna. This time I'm checking out the favorite fan cam. This video was uploaded by Chori, so I'll go to provide a link to their channel in the description down below. So you know, check them out, support their channel, all that good stuff. I'm actually pretty excited about this guys because we have Luna after the most recent comeback performing a piece of debut choreo with Favorite. Now when I checked out Favorite like you know a month or two ago and you know I knew it was their debut piece, I was like you know pretty impressive stuff but kind of simple, kind of basic. That's not a bad thing though, it's definitely not a bad thing but yo they had to make it basic because the gap between the best dance of the group and the weaker dance of the group was way too much so you kind of had to like lower yourself to find that middle ground and that's what they did. They did it and they made it look good but yo since debut till now Luna's skills have skyrocketed from like here to the stratosphere. So um, it'll be really cool to see, you know, how they perform this debut era choreo with their new and improved skill set. Because, yeah, I'm not going to lie, like, watching them dance now compared to how they were debut was like night and day. So it'll be really cool to see. I don't expect the choreo to change much because, I mean, they got a lot of stuff going on with, like, new pieces of choreo. So I can't imagine they would change too much with an older piece. But, um, you know, like I always say, you guys, great dancers will always make the simple stuff, the basic stuff, look amazing. And that's what I expect to see here. It is also like a stage performance though, so I mean, I do know that idols, they um, they dial it down for stage performance because they have to sing and all that stuff. Um, so I'm predicting they'll probably go at like 85-90% compared to, you know, the 100% they have in the studio. But regardless, I'm excited, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so I absolutely love these outfits from this last comeback, man. They worked so perfectly with Butterfly. On a practical level, they gave the girls outstanding range of motion, the way they were designed. But yo, I love the different variations, man, the different colors, because aesthetically, so, so pleasing. I definitely um, have a stage mix bookmark for Butterfly. Check out later. Yes, by Strecker, yes. Oh, yes. Getting ready for my bias to take point. Yes, Kim Lip. Yes. Woo! Yo, Jin sold Oh my god, on that right flank. She's working them hips in that outfit, too. All right, so already they are applying weight to their hips. That's not something they're doing that well at debut. So yeah, already improvements are being shown. Yes, love that drop, man. I freaking love that drop. Yeah, man, as they're rocking back and forth, they're finding the center line, jumping from right to left, and readjusting themselves. That is, I wouldn't say an advanced technique, but um, a core fundamental of dance that they are just nailing perfectly right now. Love that, man. I freaking love that. This choreo, like, applies some pretty basic concepts, but it works so well. I love that drop, too. Like, staggered as you drop in level. Like, you know, high, low, high, low, high, low. Like, the choreographer of this piece is very smart. He's, like, definitely done his research. Oh, God! <laughs> Yo, Heijin and my bias Kimla. My God. Oh, yes, get it, Tadpole. Get it. Oh, God, I love these drops. I freaking love these drops. And yo, Jinsel. Oh, yes. Oh, I love that. I love that focus right there, man. Then bringing it back down. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Oh, nice little cannon right there with some texture play. Oh, my God. Yo, Hunjin. Hunjin on the left flank right there. Oh, yes, I love this. I freaking love this choreo, man. And it looks so much better now that they are better dancers. My god. <laughs> Alright, I remember this tri column. Nice. God, I love this. I freaking love this. And Baby Wolf slaying it. Alright. So I will say, though, the skirts from uh, the original piece worked better for that drop. Yes, Chinsel. Oh my god, Eve, come on now. And yes, Mama Soul. I love this, man. I love them working the textures. Oh, killer part coming up. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, Eve, come on now. Oh my god. Oh, Eve, come on now. It's not fair. Oh my god, yo, that was, that was nice. I love, I love them hair whips. Oh my god, look at them matching tempo, man. And yes, yes, Cherry. Some odd eye circle right there. Odd eye circle tableau, love it. As the girls whack it up in the background. Yes, 
I love how they like come together like that. Um, I remember them coming in like much tighter in the MV, but yeah, that was still awesome. I'm gonna break down this last part here because my god, the matching texture play and matching tempo on display, although it was very brief, was so nice to see. And then they worked themselves into the last killer part, where I believe we had E, Pijin, and Hunjin just slay. God, look at that, man. So much weight behind their hits. The drop, the freaking drop. Yeah. Oh, and the body roll, too. Oh my god, then we got Baby Wolf taking point. Oh my god, yo, these girls are killing it with this one. But yo, wait to the hits, man. Wait to the hits. That's the biggest thing I've noticed here, is their application of applying weight to their hits. All comes from your core. It all comes from your core. All these girls, I bet, like, at most, they're, like, 100 pounds tops, okay? So having weight to your hits doesn't mean like you gotta be like 300 pounds. It's basically just redirecting the energy from your core. That's how you apply weight and that's how these ladies did so and they did so flawlessly. I love this group, all right? I don't, I feel like it's been, I mean, it's only been like a week or two since I last checked them out. I mean, I have been watching them, you know, with uh, the Loon TV and all stuff like that, but I mean like react to them. So uh, being able to uh, watch performance and react and, you know, like talk about it to you guys, you know, it's, it's nice, it's like I'm back home. But yeah, awesome, awesome stuff with this, guys. So yeah, if you uh, like what you see, go ahead, hit that like button. If you like some more, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below, and I will check them out. Thanks again, you guys, and I will either see you in another video, or I'll see you next week. And um, yeah, I know you guys were a couple, you know, a couple of you guys were worried that, um, excuse me, that, uh, you know, my Luna stuff would stop because I'm pretty much, like, caught up to you guys now. But there, there's plenty more out there, okay? There are plenty of B-side performances I want to check out. Um, there are plenty of teasers. I think I need to check out like all the pre-Butterfly teasers coming out. And um, when I first found out Luna, I checked them out with Butterfly. So I didn't understand the Lunaverse at the time. So I might like do a reaction to me re-watching Butterfly to try to piece things together. You know, like, because I do know like the lower stuff's been pretty fun to do. And uh, you guys have been awesome with, you know, chipping in and, you know, trying to help me figure things out. So I might do that or I might just, you know, watch it on my own and just like talk about it in a separate Luna video. But uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, and I will see you next week. Take it easy.